who will, who will genuinely be concerned for your welfare. Timothy was concerned about other people. And in fact, this word concerned here carries the idea of being worried without the negative connotations. This is an image of General Gordon Clark, who served as a military officer in British Army back during the 1800s. He's most well known for his work in China, but he worked in other places, he worked in Africa. One time when he was in Africa, General Gordon was a, was a strong, had strong Christian beliefs. And when he was working in Africa, Senegal, I believe it is, maybe Tunisia, but he had a, a friend who was a Muslim. And he tried to talk this Muslim into working with him in his efforts. And his Muslim friend said, no, you would convert me if I were to work with you. And General Gordon said, I promise I will not bring up religion if you will work with me. And the man said, that would not be enough because I would see your example. And I would be influenced to become a Christian through your example. What was he saying about General Gordon? He was saying, I see that you are genuinely concerned about other people. Again, that word genuinely concerned is the same word that's translated in other places, worry, like in Matthew chapter 6. Don't worry about your life, what you will eat, drink, and so forth. Paul says Timothy is worried, is concerned about other people. What kind of person are we? If you have a co-worker who is experiencing some stressful times in their life, maybe with their family, maybe with their spouse, maybe with their parents, maybe with siblings, do we show genuine concern for them and wanting what is best for them? And can they feel, can they sense that genuine concern? It's one thing to say, it's one thing to say, I'm sorry that it's happened. It's another thing to say, what can I do about it? What can I do to help you? It doesn't matter what it costs me. It doesn't matter what it costs me in my time or my efforts or money or whatever it is. What can I do to help you? You look back at the example of Christ, verses 5 through 11, and it cost Jesus leaving heaven. It caused Jesus going to the cross in order to have humility of mind. Are we genuinely concerned about other people? Next, Timothy sought the interests of Jesus. There is a Greek myth about a man named Cadmus. Cadmus was well known for fighting dragons. And Cadmus killed a dragon and he took the dragon's teeth out of his head and he scattered them around the field. And those teeth were implanted in the field and they grew up and they became giants. And now there's a whole bunch of giants throughout the land. And Cadmus is scared. And so he thinks, what am I going to do to get rid of these giants? And so he picks up a rock and he throws it at one giant and it hits him in the head and that giant thinks that one of the other giants is the one who did it, so that giant fights that giant. And then all of them get into a fight. And Cadmus sits back and laughs at all this chaos that he has created. And there are people who thrive on chaos. Not Timothy. Timothy was the kind of person who saw the interests of Jesus. Look at verse 21. Paul says, Timothy is genuinely concerned about you, the Christians in Philippi, for they are, now we don't know who they are, but there are others, in contrast to Timothy, that seek after their own interests, not those of Christ Jesus. So the implication is that Timothy 
Timothy does. Timothy is interested in what pleases Jesus. Jesus says the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. Luke 19, 10. Timothy sought the interests of Jesus, and therefore Timothy sought to seek and to save the lost. Jesus came to teach us to love God supremely. And so Timothy sought to teach others to love God supremely. Jesus came to teach us that we need to love our fellow man sacrificially. And so Timothy lived his example, lived a life of an example of what it means to love his fellow man sacrificially. Timothy saw the interest of Jesus. In one statement, Timothy saw first the kingdom of God. That's what Jesus tells us to do in Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33. Jesus gave his life for the church. And if the church is important to Jesus, then the church needs to be important to us. If the church is what requires the blood of Jesus, then the church should require our blood, our sweat, our tears. If we seek after the interest of Jesus, then we're going to do what's best for the church. To do what we can to make the church stronger. To make the church more united. To make the church more focused on that purpose of exalting Jesus Christ. Are we seeking this morning the interest of Jesus? We move on in the text to see what else Paul has to say about Timothy. Verse 22. Paul says about Timothy, But you know of his proven work, that he served with me in the furtherance of the gospel like a child serving his father. Probably, I mentioned Paul's first, Paul's uh, second missionary journey when he picked up Timothy in Acts chapter 16. Probably, Paul had converted Timothy the first time he was in Lystra and Derby in Acts chapter 14. So that when Paul comes back in Acts chapter 16, Timothy has grown up some in, in the faith. He's become more of a Christian. And the Bible says, Luke writes in, Luke, in Acts chapter 16, verses 1, 2, and 3, that the Christians in that area where Timothy lived loved him and respected him. Timothy was someone who proved his worth. Jesus says in Luke chapter 19 and verse 17 that if we are faithful in the small things, then God will give us responsibility over the bigger things. If we're faithful in the small things, you see, with God, there's not a whole lot of small things. If God calls us to a task, that task is important because God calls us to it. And so Timothy proved himself faithful in the small things. He proved himself. And Paul tells the Christians in Philippi, you know that Timothy is proven. He is trustworthy. He is dependable. You know that you can count on Timothy. And Paul counted on Timothy. And so if we want to shine as lights in the world, our word ought to be our bond. You and I have had countless people tell us, I will be there at this time. And they never showed up. I will call you. And never call. I will do this. And they never do this. That's not the kind of person Timothy was. Timothy was proof. He was dependent. He was trustworthy. And if we want to shine as light in this dark world, we too need to be proven. And Paul mentions also here in verse 23 this final thing about Timothy. Once again, he says, Timothy was of proven worth that he served with me in the furtherance of the gospel like a child serving his father. Therefore, I hope to send him immediately as soon as I see how things go with me. And I trust in the Lord that I myself also will be coming short. 
Paul expected to get out of prison shortly and go see them personally, but until then he wanted Timothy to go. And led the Christian to Philippi know how Paul is, and to bring word back from the church in Philippi to Paul so that he would know how Philippi, the Christian in Philippi, were doing. But the point here is that Timothy wanted to see the gospel spread. If you're talking about something that is dear to the heart of Jesus, it is sharing the gospel about him. Timothy knew that there is only one way to heaven, and that's through Jesus Christ. And Timothy knew that there is only one book that tells about Jesus Christ, and that's God's Word. Now, he didn't have the Bible in a printed form like you and I do. Timothy was, in fact, inspired. He was a prophet. The Holy Spirit guided him to speak, preach what he preached. But Timothy knew that this message is what people need to hear. If you have a co-worker who is having trouble in their marriage, you know what they need to hear? This book right here. If you know of someone who's being laid off and they don't know where they're going to get their next meal from, you know what they need to hear? This book right here. Do you know anyone who is struggling and wanting to do what's right, wanting to have a closer relationship with God? You know what they need to hear? This book right here. This book right here contains all of the answers to all of man's Timothy knew that. Timothy was concerned about furthering the work of Christ. And so Paul put some flesh on the bones. 